Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how we can solve for x or other variables on the TI-36X Pro Scientific Calculator. To do this we need to use the second function key, it looks like this, located here, as well as the sign key that has the second function of numSolve or number solver, it looks like this, located here. All right, let's say we want to solve for a variable like the x in this equation here. To do that, we press second sign, and that will bring us to this screen here. If you've used this function in the past, you might see an equation here. That's okay. If you do, just highlight each piece and press the clear key. Now we need to fill in these boxes. So our example equation is 10 equals x plus 6. So we enter the 10 in on the left side, and then scroll to the right one, and then x plus 6. So we press the x key, that's located here, and then plus 6. We can then press enter. Brings us to this screen here, where it says x equals 0. This is what we have currently saved as our x variable in this calculator. There's currently nothing saved, so it's showing us 0, and then solve for x. So we can press enter again twice and it'll give us a result. Here it says x is equal to 4, which makes sense because we know that 10 is equal to 6 plus 4, and then the L minus R is equal to 0, so that tells us that both sides are equal and it's a good solve. When we're done with this we can go over to quit and hit enter. Now that x has been saved as a variable into this calculator. We can view this if we go second Recall, we can now see that x equals 4 here. So we can bring that back if we need to. Let's store another one. How about something for our y? Again, we go second, sign, and here you can see we have that equation we used last time on here. So this time we can use the clear key to clear that out. Clearing both sides. Now we just have two empty boxes like we did before. So for this equation we have 5 is equal to y. So to get y we press the x key twice. There we go, y plus 2, press enter. There we go, now we get y equals 0. That's because we currently have nothing saved in y, solving for y. So we say enter twice, and we get a result of y equals 3. Yep, that looks good. So we can quit out of that. Let's check our variables again. If we go second recall, yep, we have that 3 stored in there now. So if you look, you can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 possible slots we can store on this calculator. You can overwrite these slots as well if you store or solve a new value with this in the same variable slot. Let's try saving a new variable into the y slot. To do this, we press the second sign key again so that we're back to this screen. This time let's do 100 is equal to y plus 2. Again, so we have a new result there. If we press enter, we see y equals 3 right now because that was the last y we saved. And if we press enter again and again, it'll solve and we see we get y is equal to 98. Scroll over to quit, hit enter, and if we check our variables, we see now y is equal to 98 there. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.